welcome back to our channel at Image Ballroom Dance Academy. Today I will be covering the solo spot volta in international samba. Let's get started! Now let's take a look at the pattern for your solo spot volta in our samba. You can do this volta turn to the right or to the left and I will show you both options. Make sure you stay all the way to the end as I will show you a consecutive solo spot volta a few in a row. So, please first place your weight on the left foot and right ball of the foot is crossed behind. So now we're going to start the rotation. The first solo spot volta will be to our right. We're going to rotate our upper body, lower body and drop the weight towards our right leg. So the right foot is flat, the back is ball of the foot. From there, you're gonna reach with the ball of the left foot in front of you. As you continue to rotate to the right, quickly transfer the weight onto the ball and then replace the weight back to your right foot. So, let's take it again. From the beginning, a little bit quicker. We start with our weight on the left foot and we turn over to the right. Here we go. Towards the right, ball of the left, replace to your right. Now, let's take a look. Solo spot volta to the left. You're gonna start in a volta cross position with your weight first on the right foot and the left one has only the ball of the foot at the back. You're going to rotate over the left shoulder to the back. So we start our rotation and we transfer the weight to the left foot. It's going to be flat. The back foot has a ball of the foot at the back. So we're gonna to continue to reach with the right ball of the foot in front as we continue the rotation to the left. Make the weight transfer and then drop the weight back onto the left foot. Let's take a look a little bit faster. Solo spot volta to the left. Here we go. And to the left. Ball of the foot to the left. And that is your pattern. Now let's put a timing to your pattern. Let's take a look at the solo spot volta to your right first. So please start on your left, ball of the foot at the back, and we're going to transfer the weight onto the right leg on the count one. So we go one. From there you reach with the ball of the left foot on the count up. Ah, and replace the weight to the right, two. So we have one, ah, two. Let's take a look again. And one, ah, two. It's going to be the same timing for the solo spot volta to the left. So, let's take a look at that turn. You're gonna start on the right leg this time, rotating back over the left shoulder. We go, one, up, two. Let's take a look again. And one, up, two. And that is the timing for the solo spot volta. All right, now let me give you some basic tips for good execution of a solo spot volta. The first thing I really recommend is focusing on your ankles. As you start, let's say our spot volta to the right, you're going to rise from the left ankle and really push off the left leg, transferring the weight back down into a flexed knee onto the right leg. From there, we're gonna rise from the right ankle and therefore propelling us forward onto the ball of the foot as we rotate both feet and then drop the weight back down onto a flexed knee on the right leg. That will create a nice bounce for you. Let's take a look again a little faster. So you go rise, fall, and then you go up again, up, and then down. Let's do the spot volta to the left. We're gonna start on the right foot in front, and we go up from the ankle, drop to the left with the flexed knee. Make sure your thighs are closed here. You go up as you step onto the ball, keep turning the feet and drop the weight down to the left foot. Let's take a look again. And up, down, go up onto the toes, up, down. And as promised, 
And now I'm going to show you a few consecutive solo spot voltas. Let's do four in a row. So first, let's do it to the right. So we start with the left foot in front. Here we go. A one, a two, a three, a four, a five, a six, a seven, a eight. And you can do, of course, as many as you like. Let's take a look now to the left. Here we go. A one, a two, a three, a four, a five, a six, a seven, a eight. I hope that has been helpful and keep practicing and have a great rehearsal. Thank you again for joining me today and please don't forget to subscribe to our channel. We have a lot more videos coming your way. Have a good practice.